Hey there, Danny K coming to you from Danny K Gym of Wellness. Today's tip comes to you from Laura. Um, <clears throat> we were talking on uh, back and forth on the Danny K Gym of Wellness page, and she was saying how you know, she kind of fell off the wagon. I like to say fell off the treadmill, but then people are like, oh my God, did she hurt herself? You know, get it? Fell off the treadmill, fell off the wagon is supposed to be for you know, like alcoholics and for gym. I try it. Never mind. Whatever, sorry, that's my little quirky, stupid, whatever. So anyway, so she fell off the wagon, she fell off the treadmill, she didn't really fall off the treadmill, just a figure of speech, she kind of fell off, you know, her plan. <clears throat> so last couple of, you know, whatever she said, three days or whatever, she's like, so, you know, I'm back on it, I feel good, you know, working out, getting the, excuse me, <clears throat> getting the, um, you know, the meal, the, the, you know, the foods, the proper nutrition back in. So, and I said, you know what? We're human. So, you know, basically that's the tip of the day. We are human. And that's what this is. That's what I try and teach my clients, my members, you know, this and people in general, just, you know, this is a lifestyle. Okay. So it's just like if you implement, um, you know, a lot of times when I do scenarios or, you know, um, analogies, um, you know, I, 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 pour, I put it back toward like work or, you know, like cheat days as, as pay days from, from your boss, um, you know, and in that sense, if I haven't said it already, you know, like, so for instance, a cheat day is basically a payday. So you don't get them every week. So if you look at it like a payday, your boss pays you, you know, once a week, once every two weeks, you know, whatever. So you don't have you know, you don't have a cheat day every single day because your boss don't pay you every day. If your boss pays you every day, he'd be broke. She'd be broke. Um, you know, another thing, um, you know, like if cheat day for cheat meals or cheat, you know, little cheat sparingly things, sparing things, uh, sparingly cheats, you know, um, that happens once a week, once every two weeks, whatever. So, but let's say, you know, yours is this coming Saturday. So if, if that is so, but you and that's your payday so you asked your boss if you could get paid on Wednesday Thursday so you do a little cheat day you know on you know a little cheat food on Wednesday or Thursday or something does that mean that you're allowed to get paid on Saturday no if you ask for an advance from your boss your boss isn't going to pay you on the day that you asked for the advance and that day no that is your pay so keep that in mind when you're doing the the cheat kind of thing now back to what I was, you know, originally talking about with, with Laura and stuff, she fell off and now she's getting back on. We're human. Okay. So that is, that's the takeaway from this. We're human and this is a lifestyle commitment. So a lifestyle change. So if you screw up today, you screw up tomorrow. I mean, shit happens, life happens. And sometimes we just can't do the proper things every single day. Sometimes we're tired. Sometimes, you know, um, you know, like last couple of days I've, I've had to be away from the gym down the Apple store, all that stuff. And no, it wasn't the Mac issue. It was an issue that somebody had put into my computer, not Mac. And it's not Apple. They're the best products. Anyway, I digress. Um, so, you know, with that said, I wasn't eating proper, but I did take a yesterday. I drank a protein shake for breakfast, took a protein shake down, you know, and that was my lunch. And I, at lunch, at dinner time, I'm like, oh my God, I just need to chew. I need chewing food. So, you know, so I, it, 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 shit happens. We are human. So if you fall off, the important thing, and that's what I told Laura, the important thing is to get back on. She's back on. So that's, that's key, okay? You fall off, you get back on. That, that's not the problem. Lifestyle, that is what we call lifestyle. It, you know, shit happens. We get, you know, just even, even in, in life, we get knocked down, you know, from a stressful situation or whatever, get knocked down, you dust it off, you get back on, you know, you get back up and, and you go. Just because, you know, you had a horrible day yesterday, does that mean you don't wake up today? You don't get out of bed today, you know? And sometimes that might be the case, but eventually you get out of bed, you know? So the thing is you get back on. So, you know, yeah, you may have screwed up today. You may have screwed up let yesterday. You may have screwed up the day before. But the important thing, you know, just kind of shake it off, get back on. So, you know, just like with a job, I, for instance, you know, another analogy with, um, with Laura, I had posted, um, 
you know, like if you take a vacation, you know, or you take a half a day off, you're like, you know what, the sun's shining, or I feel like poo, you know, I'm taking a half a day off. It's a warm day. It's my first, it's the first warm day of spring. I'm taking a half a day off. You know, so you take that half a day off. Do you just not come back to work just because you took a half a day off? you know, the next day? No, you go back to work the next day. <clears throat> so it's just like with eating proper and working out. If you took the half a day off, did a little cheat, you know, that you weren't supposed to, wasn't on your meal plan, and you didn't work out because, you know, just shit happened. Does that mean the next day you just don't go to work? You just don't go and do the meal plan or, you know, eat proper or get back into the, no, you get, you get back in it. You know, it's just like your job. It's not a job. I mean, it is work, but it's not a job. It's just like I'm using it as an analogy. And I hope you guys understand what I'm saying as far as, you know, working out and your pay, your cheat day, your payment, and then your job, you know, and, and kind of using that as, you know, like, like the analogy of, you know, if, you know, you know what, today I've had a stressful day at work. I'm taking, I'm calling in sick tomorrow. I'm taking a vacation day. That's like a cheat day. Okay, so, but then the next day you go back to work, you know, just because you take a day or even a vacation, you know, a week vacation doesn't mean you never go back to work again. So it's just like a lifestyle commitment with your eating proper and your working out. Just because you take a day off, half a day off, whatever, is it, was it the good thing? No, but the good thing is the next day you get back on track or you at least try. We are human, shit's gonna happen. We're gonna fall off the wagon, we're gonna fall off the treadmill, so to speak. You know, shit's gonna happen. But the important thing is to just always keep moving forward. Dust yourself off, move forward. Dust yourself off, move forward. You never step back. You never, try never ever to step back. Um, you're not gonna get anywhere by stepping back. You're gonna get somewhere by moving forward, making those steps, even if they're small steps. One small steps gets you that much closer to your reward, your result, whatever. Um, so I hope you enjoy that. I hope you understood my analogy with, you know, the working out and the, and the job and the pay, you know, the, the cheat day and the payment and the, you know, if you take an early cheat day, it's like taking an early advance. You don't get paid twice that week. You just get one cheat day. So, you know, if you screw up today, just get back on it tomorrow. One, one screw up today is not lost cause and, you know, forget about it and I'm just going to be unhealthy for the rest of my life. No, because when you take one day off, you get back to work. You go back to work the next day. So I hope you like that. I hope you understood that. I hope that, you know, um, you know, fits in with you, let it resonate, understand what I'm trying to say. We're human, shit happens, we make mistakes. Just don't let it keep piling up. Shake it off, get back on it tomorrow. You got this. I'm telling you, I know you do. You feel so much better. Stay in tune, stay informed, stay motivated. <laughs>